Good evening and thanks for joining us. A Canadian senator is in police custody tonight. Patrick Brazo was arrested at his Gatineau home this morning. A police investigation is still underway, but he's already been kicked out of the Conservative caucus. The Prime Minister saying today the matter is very serious and of a personal nature. Shirley Engel is in Ottawa following developments for us on this. Shirley. Well, Donna, though no charges have been laid against Patrick Brazo, the mayor news of his arrest was enough for Stephen Harper to immediately kick him out of caucus. And news spread quickly on Parliament Hill about the young Aboriginal senator who's courted controversy ever since Harper appointed him in 2009. Police block off the Gatineau, Quebec home where Senator Patrick Brazo was arrested just after 9 a.m. Officers were called here for an alleged domestic assault, but a spokesman wouldn't name the senator as the suspect. We will uh, object to, the, to his release, so, uh, and we will speak with the Crown Attorney to see if we have enough evidence to uh, lay any charge. Actually, I issued a statement. After a statement to the media confirming Brazo had quickly been booted from the Tory caucus, government Senate leader Marjorie LeBreton wouldn't comment. We're told the Prime Minister was appalled and saddened. Understanding that these are uh, matters of a personal nature rather than the Senate business, but they are very serious, and we expect they will be dealt with through the courts. Brazo is already under scrutiny over his housing allowance claims and questions about income tax exemptions. Known for his salty language on Twitter and defeat in the boxing ring at the hands of Justin Trudeau, he offended many fellow Aboriginals when he was overheard making fun of Attawapiskat chief Teresa Spence. And he pretends he's a spokesman and he's not. So I don't think he has any, he has no credibility, no credibility in the Aboriginal community. He's a laughing stock in the Aboriginal community. For a man who's spoken out about accountability and violence against Aboriginal women, former caucus colleagues say the allegations are shocking. Well, he's a Canadian, and uh, you are innocent until proven guilty. Um, but if he has harmed a woman and beaten a woman, I hope that uh, he receives the full brunt of our justice system. In accordance with Senate rules, Brazo will continue to collect his $132,000 a year salary unless he's convicted of a crime. The Prime Minister did what he did uh, and uh, judged from the perspective that we have, uh, it, uh, it, it seems to be a, an appropriate response. The question, is, the question is, is where to go from here. The NDP's Charlie Angus says he should be booted from the Senate altogether, but for now, Brazo will continue to sit as an independent. Now again, he hasn't been charged, but police expect him to be in custody overnight. And if there is enough proof to lay charges, he will make his first court appearance in Gatineau tomorrow at 9 a.m. He is being interviewed, as are others involved in this case, and police have obtained a search warrant for his home. Donna. Okay, Shirley Engel in Ottawa, thanks.